that's a huge one. Go, 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 go. Unreal moment, surreal moment. What's going on guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. For those who are new, my name is Tommy McGrath and for those who are returning, welcome back guys. You're tuning in for a good one. We got season three, West Palm Beach, the trilogy. It's gonna be myself, Justin and Casey going down this trip and I am absolutely stoked. So season two, me and Justin, it was just me and him for that season. Now we got Casey back again. He was part of season one, couldn't go season two and now he's back for season three. So we're actually gonna need a lot more help and just when you're doing these giant species, like we do need a lot more help. Someone's gotta grab the camera, grab the rod, help the other person fight these fish. So this trip really is a three man job in all aspects and that's what we were missing in season two. But I really, really wanna to top season two. And I think it's possible, but we have some big shoes to fill. I'm feeling good, we're gonna get a quick word from Justin. But here we go guys, West Palm Beach, season three. Feeling good, feeling ready to rip. You heard from Tommy. We're doing this all unguided which is what I love to do. And we're gonna go out there and we're just gonna try and top what we did last year. We got some new spots to try, uh, new species to go after in both saltwater and fresh. And I'm really looking forward to it. Like Tommy said as well, Casey coming to help with the camera and help on the rod and him being able to catch some good fish himself. I think it's gonna be a great time and we should be able to get all these big fish up. So I'm looking forward to it. Hey, buddy! You ready? Yeah, we, we're ready, we're ready. Well, I feel exhausted. Took a little nappy nap, and uh, looks Justin's tired too. And did you take a nappy nap? No. Hold on, hold on, let me go. Yeah, I see something on the center console. All right, guys, driver's here, we're ready to go. He thought that he had to bring the bigger car, might have brought the wrong car, but we're okay. Everything's in the car. It is 2.06, and our flight takes off at five, so we should be good to go. They rumble. All right, guys, 3.07 in the morning. Tired as hell, but we are in line, me and Casey, to go ahead because of our rod twos, but we're checking in now. Then we're gonna go sit, grab a bite to eat, grab some water, and we're gonna be sleeping on the plane, hopefully. How'd it go? Good? Got through. I got my nuts searched. Yeah, what was going on? I don't know. Leave it to Casey to get his whole bag searched, everything. I had like some box around my dong, so I had to get a little groat, but it's all right. That's actually the first time I've ever gotten groped. No, but like at airport, airport security. Like, did you literally just rip it? No, just like a... Yeah, like up my leg, yeah. The yeah, the actual, the loins. <laughs> then the plane to LAX. <laughs> We're losing our mind. See you guys in Florida. All right guys, we got our rod tubes. They're actually the first thing that came out of the carousel. Tommy sprinted over there and grabbed them really quickly, but uh, they don't look too banged up. What do you think, bud? Like I said, I'm tired. I just wanna get the bags. We need to get the car. I think the car's gonna take even longer. We gotta hop on a shuttle like 15 minutes away and with both rod tubes, all of our bags, I think it's definitely gonna be a pass. Oh, there's mine. All right guys, we got a shit show here. Let's get our bags. Let's get everything racked and roaded and uh, let's, let's get the fishing. We made it through the hardest part. Honestly, that line literally did not take more than 15 minutes. Shuttle bus, not too bad. This is probably one of the easiest exchanges that we've had from getting off the flight to getting in the car. So I'm gonna shut the hell up. We wanna get on the road. I'm sweating balls already. Justin looks pissed. Let's go. We made it! 
West Palm Beach, season three of the trilogy. It's only 10 o'clock. We're ahead of the game. We're ready to go. Justin, you're not telling me where we're supposed to be going. So we're just gonna go this way. Live life in the fast lane. All right, guys, we have made it to West Palm Beach. It is day one, the travel day. We just pulled up to the Airbnb. They're gonna take some time to clean it real quick. Only because we did arrive, we weren't supposed to get here until about three, but it is 11.30 a.m. So we took an early flight, but I'm feeling good. We're probably gonna start setting up all the rods now out here, kind of get our stuff together. We have to take a couple pit stops, go make some errands, possibly get some water for the Airbnb, things like that. Everything's basically done, completed, I'm feeling good. My stress is honestly completely gone now, and it's really just about um, losing these socks and enjoying Florida. And you know, when I put on the Jesus sandals, big fish are coming. You'll see it tonight. The beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida, guys. We have made it. All this time talking about it, all the time planning. We we're finally here. Like I said, we don't have any rods yet, but look at it. Guys, it's beautiful. 80 degrees out right now, sunny. Water looks amazing. Can't wait to put my line in the water. Season three, West Palm Beach trilogy. Let's go. Let's do it. Best series that we've ever filmed right here. Hands in. West Palm Beach on three. One, two, three. West Palm Beach. Beach. All right, guys, we're at the tackle shop. Just looking for a bunch of stuff that we need. We're gonna pick up stuff for sharks, groupers, tarpon stingrays and needlefish and maybe pick up some lures too so i'm gonna look around and i'll show you some of the stuff we're getting first things first is this called a popping cork for uh, tarpon it's good because you can use this and it'll you can move it like this and it'll pop kind of draw attention and then they'll see the bait under and come take it i heard it's a great tactic all right guys it's done we're in a parking garage and now we're perfect time to go back to the airbnb there we go Groceries, back to the Airbnb, unload, ready to rip, ready to fish. The last finishing touches right here. Look at this guys, we're actually smart humans. Guys, check this out. Last year, we did not buy any food other than buying like food outside, like at a restaurant, and we have a full fridge stuff. We got bread, beer, water, meat, milk, bagels, literally everything. We got the freezer full up here. We're ready, we're ready. We're rigging up our gear now. The best part of the day, uh, we got all the groceries done as you can see, but this is a 50 wide. Got the brand new St. Croix tarpon rod. This is gonna be a pen slammer in a 5,500 size. Pen slammer four. But we're gonna get everything rigged up, run like a cool time lapse, but we need to get all of our gear. I mean, if you, as you can see, we have rods literally spread out everywhere. So once we get these set up, we're gonna be out there fishing already. are ready we got 50 wise we got stingray rods we got tarpon and jack rods we got um the needlefish rods that's what we're gonna start with we'll go over that in a sec but ready to go rods loaded up justin's waiting patiently let's, do it. let's go no way first florida fish needle targeted species oh, oh. oh. hi guys justin already had a needlefish on not a giant, but a really good start. And these starfish are so cool. They're huge. I don't see the giant anymore. Oh, yeah, Tommy, you had a giant coming toward you. Leave it. You got it. When do I set it? Oh my god, there's another one. There's a, there's a massive one. Set it. Yes. I got a good one. Oh! Ooh, what? No way. I moved it, I moved it. I uh, control I'm casting. I can't control him, dude. It's a like sailboat. Oh no. He got off. Dude, these things are insane. Oh my god. I can see my electric. 
No, dude, they keep coming off. These fish are insane. Oh my god. Dude, I, I had a huge one. Broke me off. I don't think these hooks are big enough. Uh, I got one on right now. I'm gonna let it eat it. Oh, that's a huge one, Justin. No, there's one, there's a huge, they're chasing each other. Put it in. What? Put it in the bags. These are shark bait. All right, guys, my first needle, first fish of West Palm season three. This is gonna be bait, toss in the bag, already put it out of his misery. Holy shit! This one? Yeah. Dude, look! Justin, look! All the giants are right here, look! I'm trying to eat this one. Oh, look at this! Get in, get in! Get in! This is insane. Yeah. I know, he's right here. Fish. Damn, dude, that's a giant. <laughs> Here, give my phone for a picture. Oh my god, dude, he just bit the pliers like that. Dude, a needle just hit a popper. No way. Fall hook. Went after it, but I'll just unhook it. Doing good, this is awesome. Well, we have been here for fishing for the first 20 minutes. We already have what, seven needlefish or something? And we have bait for tonight, that's the main thing. That's what we wanted to accomplish, get our own bait, fresh bait. Um, I think we're gonna have to go buy a cooler soon now. That folks is what it's all about. You know, having young kids come up to you asking, hey, can I fish with you? Can I hang out with you? Absolutely, 100%. We hooked him up with bait, he caught his first ever fish. And I was grateful enough to be able to teach him teach him how to cast, teach him the techniques. He caught a few nice needlefish, we call them needlers. Yeah, it's nice. Tommy caught one, Justin caught one, I caught one, and it's all good. We're gonna go back, put some band on ice, and continue with our day. All right guys, for these sharks, I have a topping of 200, and I'm running it to 400, and I'll be running it to a wire leader. The spot we're gonna be fishing tonight has a lot of nurse sharks, so this might be a little heavy duty for them, but we've also caught big lemon sharks there and uh, big bull sharks. All right guys, so this is my 100 pound right here. This is my main line. That's 100 pound mono. I got a swivel tied to right here. And this is gonna have 400 pound mono as well. Probably about six to eight feet, depending on what I do here. And then after that 400 pound mono, that's where I already had this pre-tied, but that's where I'm gonna tie the other end of the 400 pound mono onto here. And actually this is where my drone piece, which is right here is gonna tie on to. So I'll show you guys the whole rig, obviously once we get out here, but this is what we're doing. We're rigging up for sharks now. Like I said, we got our bait, we're ready to roll, and it's shark time. I really feel have a good feeling about what's gonna happen tonight. We have a better location. We're actually able to fish an inlet that we weren't able to last time because of our Airbnb location, but now that we're allowed to park here, we can literally have it right down there. So I'm feeling good. I'm gonna finish tying this up, and then we'll go over the rig and the drone setup once we get out there. There's the front door, we got a TV. Like this is like the living room, kitchen, bathroom, king size bed, 
double queen. Pretty nice. And when you go outside, it's like a little bit of a courtyard. Everyone's really friendly, cool. We have a gate right there too, so we park right outside there. Nice table to chill out. This is kind of where we rigged up all of our stuff today. Got a grill. And remember guys, this series is sponsored by Follow Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that covers you from fishing to hunting. They got the most badass, hand-drawn, custom designs made for the everyday outdoorsman by the outdoorsman. Check it out, followtheaction.com. If you guys do want to get anything, McGrath Fish to save 20% off on your entire order. They have fresh water, salt water, hunting. Guys, just check it out. I really think you guys are going to like the designs and they have a bunch of new products coming, so be tuned for that. But everyone's ready to go. We're done rigging. All right, guys. Um, it is six o'clock right now. We are gonna be heading to a fir the first shark spot and the first shark fishing we're gonna be doing all trip. We got our bait earlier, as you saw those needlefish. We also bought some frozen bait from the bait store right down the road. But I'm excited guys, this could be the first night where we land some sharks. The, I guess like the opening of what we really wanna accomplish on this trip. All right, so this is the landing gear. This is what is actually gonna drop the bait guys. So there's a button over here if I can even find it and this little thing right here is what's going to drop the bait so as i went to put the drone piece on i realized that i thought it was dead at first and it wasn't charging at all i just switched the cord so maybe that cord was broke now it's charging so i think this is dead we're gonna give this thing about probably five ten minutes it should charge pretty quick for at least a drop or two so my heart just went to my nuts so i have my 100 pound mono this is my main line to a swivel this is to 200 pound which comes down to another swivel this black piece is just a drone piece it's just raveled up right now and then this is connected to my wire down to a nah, nah, hook right there with a frozen piece of mullet. Alright, come on, Kate. Alright, guys, so the thing is all the way out there. All I'm gonna do is press this button on the back, it's the auxiliary light. And it's dropped. All right, so first bait's out. We got two more to go. Honestly, this is a usually a simple process, but sometimes I get a little bit nervous only because if the drone falls in the water, or whatever, then we're absolutely screwed. But that one went really simple. Justin's actually over there. Um, I don't know how much you guys heard, but he spotted a Goliath grouper in here, which would be the first ever time that we've either seen one in here or caught one. So. He's overdoing that, but we are gonna fly out another bait, probably out to the right this time, and then we also gotta get Casey's bait out too. All right guys, so this is Justin's bait now. So I'm gonna take this O-ring, pop it on, and when that light gets triggered, that thing spins, which makes this drop. All right guys, good morning. Last night did not go as planned, but unfortunately last year, day one also did not go as planned as we wanted it to. So today's a new day. I think a lot of our mistakes were they just, we need a better bait. We don't have any jacks yet. The needlefish weren't ideal bait, the frozen mullet also weren't ideal. So one of the main things is we need a cooler this morning. We need fresh bait. And honestly, we need to go to more boat ram. So if we're not going to catch our own bait or whatever, we need to try and get more bait from the charter captains, which they will give us the carcasses and whatnot. And that's what me and Justin did a lot last year. So I think our main problem was definitely the bait but hopefully we can make it happen today. Some sharks, just anything. Honestly, we just need some stuff in the line, so stay tuned. We have all the surf rods ready. Guys, check these out. St. Croix. Legend surf rods, 10.6 medium heavy, absolutely beautiful. There might be something. Oh yeah, look, is that an eagle? Let me, let me forward that looks it. like a nurse. All right guys, so what I'm doing right now is I flew my drone all the way to a boat launch that we fished for some sand grays and some sharks at. Uh, saves us the whole drive. Actually got a beautiful sun sunrise on the screen right now. But uh, flying it back, I was able to see some stuff over there, kind of see what the situation is without having to drive all the way over there. And uh, kind of saves us some hassle, but it's a nice little feature we can do with these drones with the long distance capacity they have, and it's kind of fun. There you go. <sighs> Nothing like a sweet bonita in the morning. All right, bonita acquired. These are gonna go in the cooler, and then we're gonna go to the boat ramps. I don't know why you guys do that. It didn't smell that bad to me, honestly. It just smelled like good. It smelled like <laughs> shit. Yeah. We tried it. It's like Justin's dual wielding clubs. Show me your clubs, Justin. 
Ready? All right, guys, new knife. We needed this. We came down a little bit unprepared with that. We have a couple of knives, but we finally got bait. That's the most important part of this trip. Along the way, we're gonna be stopping at some boat ramps to get more bait too to fill up this cooler. That's kind of how me and Justin did it last year. So for what I'm doing, I'm gonna take this 60 knot. I'm gonna do three long wraps around, which is just like this, almost kind of like a fishing knot. Once I do that, I went four right there. I'll hold it with the pliers and I'll bend up on the tag end and then I'll do pretty much like five wraps as tight as I can go. So it looks like a perfect fishing knot almost. All right guys, we're back out here at the boat launch. I got myself a St. Croix, eight foot, heavy action, Mojo musky. I know it's a musky right here in Florida. We're not fishing for musky. We're actually fishing for tarpon, barracuda, anything can bite. And I'm sewing this Yo Zeri F series walking bait right on the surface. Got myself some 35 pound fluorocarbon up to 80 pound mainline. And I am working this thing just around the edges over here, trying to get something to blow up, get some more bait for the boys. So far, we're getting some beating to thawed out. It's all frozen rock solid, so we can't cut through it just yet. But we're getting over there. We're getting everything all set up. And hopefully we'll be catching them fish here soon. All right, this is the St. Croix Mojo Inshore 7-Eleven Heavy. Just put on pretty much like a jigging spoon. Uh, we're gonna cast out there, see what happens, see if we can get some more bait or whatever that, or whatever hits us. Oh, shit. Holy That's a jack, let's go. Let's go. Guys, as I was just talking about this, I'm just casting for bait. This is exactly what we need. This is a beautiful bait, so I'm actually gonna send this back out. Just like this. Now this should get hit right away. All right, bait's out. I'm gonna reset my rod now. Loosen the drag a little. And we're gonna put it like this. Nice resting area. I'm gonna brace it with this. So if something takes, right out. Let's go. Whoop its ass. Good, man. Woo. Oh no. Oh, it's a barracuda. Hey, wait, 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 Oh my god, my god. A little 27, 28 inch Cuda. Nice good one. Good vibes, good Cuda. There you go. Literally perfect bait, bait. size too. These things are immaculate for uh, Show me them teeth. Well, they run down in the bed down. Or... All right, guys, Legend Surf, 16 knot. Little snapper, whatever the hell this thing is. Full thing going out. All right guys, you can see in the water here, I got a little nurse shark. I set my bait out about 25, 30 yards. And this little cute fella actually picked it up. Funny thing about these shark sharks, Compared to any other shark in the water here, they have the strongest bite force out of any other shark. So we're gonna try to be safe here, not lose a finger, get this guy unhooked and released. Should I bring him up to land? No, I won't. Yeah. Well guys, that's gonna be it for the first day and a half of West Palm Beach season three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Unfortunately, things aren't really going our way just yet, but also season two started the exact same way. I caught some bait yesterday, caught some more bait today. I feel like tonight's gonna be a lot better at the spots we wanna fish. I feel like shark fishing just comes alive at night. So with actual fresh caught bait that we caught, not some frozen shit, 
I feel like this is gonna be a lot better, so I feel like that's kind of where we've been lacking, but this is all part of it. We gotta figure it out, do it on our own. I'm feeling good about it. But we are gonna end this video right here. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna get a quick word from Justin and Casey before we end it. But remember, this entire series is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors, St. Croix Rods, and Beyond Braid. Let's go see what Casey and Justin have to say. We're just trying to brainstorm what to do next. Uh, we have this big like barge that keeps coming into our stingray spot, so can't really do that because if we hook a big stingray, we're gonna lose it on there. So we're just kind of brainstorming. Case. Kind of how Justin said, had a lot of fun with the needlefish. Was able to catch some pretty nice ones. A little nurse shark, but other than that, there's more to come. Definitely, definitely a little bit burnt. I feel like an idiot for not putting on sunscreen earlier, but. Just been bait collecting. Yeah. Really now. So we have plenty of bait for tonight. There will be sharks coming. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is gonna be it for the first video of season three of West Palm Beach. Remember to like the video, subscribe right down here. We are out.